Hi everyone and welcome to Makeup for 40 Plus. So there's a couple of things that I'm doing today. I'll do a quick outfit of the day, um, my jewellery, and I'm going to do this eye look which I'll zoom in on. And my base I'm not going to tell you about because I've actually done, this is the high end and low end look that I've done. So one side is um, drugstore and the other side is high end products. So I just basically want to see what people think and I'll leave it up for a couple of weeks maybe and then I'll upload the video of where I actually filmed doing my makeup so you can see which which side is which anyway stop banging on and we'll go on so if I touch up today and I don't tell you what I'm putting under my eye it's because I don't want to give away what side is which so I'm in my um, hauls, you will have seen that I got the Steeler palette, sorry for the reflection, and this is going to be one of my new favourite, um, I can see, this is the In The Light palette, um, and I just adore the shades in this. So before I get going with my eye look, I just want to show you that um, what my outfit is today. So I'm just wearing these little... Um, teardrop chandelier style earrings I haven't got anything in my other holes I just thought I'd leave it at these these are sort of like a little bit reflective which I liked I've got this silver um, necklace it's just got a couple of little diamantes in it and I'm wearing this um, red and navy with a bit of black um, in the shirt and if I step back which you can't see, I'm wearing a pair of white um, sort of harem style pants which are a little bit flattering. So sorry, I'll just sit myself back down and then we'll get into it. So I'm not talking about the eye base that I've got on because that's all part of the you guess which side is which. But I am using um, all the same products as far as eyeshadow and eyeliner etc goes. So first of all, as I like to do, I want to get my um, colour in my wet, my tight line and waterline so that if it dissipates it'll um, I'll move so you can see me a bit better. So I'm just going, I'm using the um, Urban Decay, um, one of the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils. I do love these. This wasn't part of my haul but this colour is what I want to use today to pick up the navy in my shirt. So I'm just really coating that um, bottom waterline. So this colour, sorry, is Sabbath. And I just want to take a my blending brush and I just want to blend that. I might pop a little bit more just in the corner so that I can blend it while it's wet. But I just want to take what's on my lashes basically and blend that through to give me a nice depth of colour under my lash line. And it just, this, these pencils you've got to work fast with because they just dry out so quick. It's just amazing. But they're budge proof, which I love. So as I say, if I clean up and I don't tell you why, or what products I use when I'm cleaning up, it's because I don't want to give away what side is, which side is which, basically. So we'll just clean up under my eye with a, I have to say, I made a fair mess of this when I was doing the other side of my face, so I hope that it turns out better because I didn't enjoy it at all. I don't know why, I just couldn't get my act together today. So I'm just cleaning that up so that it's not quite so, um, so heavy. I want a, just a smudge of it, not a real deep line if that makes sense and this is what I was talking about in my other video that we get creases under our eyes and there's nothing that we can do about them they're just there so I'm just going to back in going to go oh see you can't talk one of my videos welcome if you haven't watched me before I can't talk I normally drop something and what's the other thing I do I zoom the wrong way I can't remember a hair is the third thing. I always get a hair every video. But I've already had a had a hair while I was doing my other bibs and bobs so maybe we've skipped past that let's hope. Now I'm hiding the product I'm cleaning up under my eye with because I don't want it to be a giveaway so 
I just want to clean up this eyeliner before it drives me crazy. So, but if you haven't already watched, one side is drugstore and one side is high end, please go and watch it and see if you can guess which side is which. Anyway, on with the tutorial. So, I am going to go in with um, one of my favourites, which is um, Belly Beige in the colour tattoo and I'm just putting this on with a concealer brush this is a no-name concealer brush so as I usually do I just put a thicker um, amount of that on my actual lid and then use what remains on my brush to take it up to my brow bone so that I've just got that hint of shimmer and that tackiness that I do love about these colour tattoos so um, just pulling that up but so it's not got the same intensity that it does across my lid. So done with that. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to go in and I'm going to take this flat white colour which is called Bear and I'm just going to put that across my brow bone just very lightly. Um, and I've, I am going to take Kitten over that a bit later but also again very lightly so I just want to blend that out so that and as you can see that even though it's a matte color um, because I've put the belly beige underneath it sort of brings out a little bit of shimmer which is something that I really like now I am going in with if I can find my brush where did my brush go I'll use this one. I'm now just going to go in with Kitten and I'm going to put that all over the mobile part of my lid. So I'll zoom you in and hopefully I'll stay in shot because I have noticed that a few of my videos I drop out of shot which is not good so I do apologise. So I'm just going to run Kitten all over my the mobile part of my lid just up to my crease. So got that down. Then I am going to go in with, um, what did I do next? I'll do my crease colour next. I can find my crease brush. And now I am going in with a pencil brush into gilded glitter, gilded gold, I think it is. Sorry. Hopefully it will focus and you can see that. So um, this is the colour here that I'm going into. So I'm just going to put that in my crease. I love this as a crease colour. I just gives you that bit of depth just through your crease but blends out so beautifully. It's sort of a um, taupey brown, bronzy gold. It's quite an unusual colour actually but a lot of these colours in this palette are a little bit unique which is what I like about it. So now I'm just going in with a base shadow brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to go in with Night Sky which is this sort of grey blue colour and I'm just really going to put this on the outer part of my lid just to give a bit of colour blending in from the black. So because I really don't want to wear red, white and blue eyeshadow so I just want to blend this night sky into the kitten so that there's no harsh lines but it's not just black on the kitten if that makes sense so I'm sort of just blending that across and you'll notice I've got a bit of fallout but that's because I've just flicked it everywhere now I'm going in with this flat black colour which is ebony and I'm taking a um, angled brush and I am just going to do my outer V so just to intensify that outer corner a little sorry silence because I'm concentrating not very helpful for you guys I know now I just want to blend that so that there's no harsh lines and you'll see that that's sort of blended with that night sky quite nicely so it just sort of is a transition from one to the other and I'll get the fallout when I'm finished. Now I'm just going in with a fluffy brush so and then I am taking 
what is it called sunset I absolutely love this for a blending color it's just beautiful so I'm going to take this as my transition slash blending color just to make sure that there's no harsh lines so you can see it'll go from this to this so just really lightly blending with just the tip of the brush doing all the work for me and blending those colors out so that there's no harsh lines and it just all blends in beautifully then I'm taking another fluffy brush and I'm going in with kitten and all I'm going to do is do the inside of my eye run it up on the my brow bone to blend that blending color and just on the outer edge of my eye as well just to give it a bit of a a lift and to blend everything out and that's basically it for the palette just taking my brush and cleaning up any fallout and because of the colors I've used it's left me a bit dark so what I'll do is I'll go over it again with my concealer and just clean up any of that fallout if I've got a hair there I'm just going to pop on a little more of the concealer so that and I was about to stick it on my face and then realized that would be a mistake because that would be a dead giveaway as to which side was which so just bear with me while I clean up under this it's nothing worse than having a dark eye and it being dark under your eye you really want to brighten that up and make sure that there's no there really is no harsh or dark fallout that's sort of blended with the rest of your makeup and makes the underneath of your eye look dark because you just look like you've been punched in the face which isn't a good look for anyone. Now I'm just going to touch up my waterline and tight line again because I always do this at the end just to make sure that anything that's worn off is back and looking like it should. Then I'm going to use my Miranas tight line. This one is in sapphire blue. It's one of these felt tip pens which I just love and I'm going to use this to do my winged liner so just to bring that blue in again. So I'm just taking it. I'm hoping you can see okay. And I'm basically just laying it flat against my lashes just to stamp the color across my lid and get really close to the lash line so that there's just a hint of color like there is on this eye rather than you know a thick line and make sure that that's done properly make sure that my little wings are even which they are now mascara I'm going to use my Miranas fiber lash I really like this as you know um, actually I just want to put a little bit of touch of powder so I'm hiding my powder so you can't see which one it is if I can open it which would be helpful I'm just going in with a powder brush just to set that extra um, think Trish the extra concealer that I put down under my eye so hopefully I didn't show you what that was so yes um, Miranas Fiber Lash this is the one that vibrates but as I mentioned the ba I've got a backup of this but the battery is not working but it still um, is a beautiful mascara even without the vibrating wand so um, I have no idea if you can change the batteries in this and frankly it's too much effort to be honest I really like the the way this um, mascara lengthens and defines my lashes so with a look like this I just think it's really pretty just to have those lashes you know just there and of course as always bottom lashes some loving can't not do the bottom lashes so and I just bumped it don't you hate that 
So that's my finished look. So I'll just zoom in because I want to focus on the eyes, not the makeup with this one because I don't want to give away which is which. And I'm just going to quickly clean up that little bit. So that's the look using the Stila um, in the light palette. I hope that you like this look. I think it's a fairly neutral sort of look for me anyway. I mean, you could certainly darken it up and make it more intense for a nighttime look, but I quite like it. I just noticed that because my eyes are watering, I've lost a bit of color in that corner. So I'm just going to stamp that black back in there a little. So yeah, that's it. So I hope you like. I am going to zoom back out now so you can see my whole face. So I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I'm going to do some more of these. So with the products that you've seen in my haul videos, I'm actually going to do some reviews and first impressions um, and just let you know, you know, what the color payout it, or color payoff is. Do some looks using some of the colors or, and some of the palettes that I've got and some of the lipsticks, etc. This really is a beautiful palette. Um, I believe they're $39, um, but I have to say, I've had a really good look. I've got one other one coming out of, I think there's three or four different kinds. There was really only two that really tickled me, um, but I do have another one of these coming, um, not in the light, I can't remember which one I got, but um, I just think they're really good value. The colour payoff on these is great. Um, the colour range is really great. It's great neutral colours so you can do a really nice matte sort of look because it's got lots of matte colours in it or you can do something a bit shimmery or a combination of both. Um, and it's just, yeah, I think it's got a really good range of neutral, you know, similar to the Urban Decay um, naked palettes I would think you know with the range of shimmer and you know your greys and your torps and then your champagnes and and all that sort of stuff I really really like this palette so if if you can afford it and you like really neutral colors um, I would definitely recommend this I know that my daughter has one that I've given her and she has not used any of her other eyeshadows since she got this palette she just use it every single day she just loves it so um, yeah would definitely recommend I would think that if you're looking to spend money on a good high-end palette um, I would definitely say this this palette is worth buying so you know if if you want to spend forty dollars on a palette this palette is definitely a good one to get because it's got a really good range of colors all neutrals mixture of mattes and shimmers so yeah if I was Let's say, let's come up with a title, bag it or bin it, how about that? If it was up to me, this would get a thumbs up and I'd bag it. So yeah, if we'll come up with a new little bag it or bin it will be my slogan. So definitely for the Still It In The Light palette is definitely a bag it. So um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed, hope you like this look. If you'd like to see a few more looks using this um, palette, let me know and I'll be more than happy to do so. And please check out the video for um, where I'm talking about high end and, and drugstore and let me know in the comments. I'm going to leave it up for a while before I put up the video that actually shows you um, which side is which because I'm really curious to see what people's reactions and comments are. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. Please take great care of yourselves and I hope that you're having a wonderful time whatever it is that you're doing and I'll talk to you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.